Erdogan, chaos at an airport in Russia. As a flight from Tel Aviv arrived, the Ministry of Health of Dagestan reporting at least 20 people were injured tonight. And ABC News has learned most of those people were police officers hit by stones. Those protests erupting as Israel steps up its attacks, its attacks against Hamas, IDF tanks moving across the border into Gaza. A frightening scene unfolding at an international airport in Dagestan, a majority Muslim republic inside Russia. Video circulating online purportedly shows protesters storming the terminal in tarmac as a flight arrived from Tel Aviv, shouting anti-Semitic slogans, preventing passengers from getting off the plane. This comes as Israel's war against Hamas enters what Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is calling a new stage. Israeli tanks crossing the border into Gaza. The IDF says it's expanding its ground operations, pushing deeper into the Gaza Strip. An increasing number of military vehicles seen in the southern Israeli border town of Sterot Sunday evening. ABC's Matt Rivers was near the Gaza border as shell after shell was fired from Israel. So that is the sound of an escalation in this conflict. We're about a half mile or so from the Gaza border and we've been hearing constant outgoing artillery fire, jets flying overhead, striking targets inside of Gaza. The Israeli military says it killed dozens of militants on Sunday, including commanders from the tactical echelon. President Biden spoke with Netanyahu by phone, saying Israel needs to defend itself in a manner consistent with international humanitarian law. The U.S. says Hamas hides behind the civilian population. Which puts an added burden on Israel. Uh, to differentiate between the terrorists and innocent civilians. But it doesn't lessen their responsibility under international humanitarian law. But the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is growing. Hundreds of desperate people breaking into U.N. warehouses, taking food and other necessities. The director of the U.N. Relief and Works Agency says it's a worrying sign that civil order has started to break down in Gaza. In the meantime, more than 200 hostages remain inside Gaza. The U.S. says freeing those hostages is a priority even as Israel expands its ground assault in the territory. Dewan.